How would you go about explaining the world around us? Scientists have developed a standard model to explain what they know about our world. In this model, there are two classifications of molecules, fermions and bosons. Fermions are the more solid particles, such as protons, neutrons, and electrons. A quark is an elementary particle that creates protons and neutrons through different sequencing. Bosons are particles that are created from forces. But what grants mass? Because of this lack of knowledge, symmetry, a key part of the standard model, was broken. Then, Higgs, Peter Higgs, theorized a field and a particle. The Higgs particle and its corresponding field grant mass through interaction with other particles. The more interaction a particle has with the field, the more mass it has. A good analogy is when a popular person and a nobody walk into a crowd. The more popular person gets swarmed with people, therefore making it hard to move around, and thus giving it a bigger mass. In order to find particles such as the Higgs, physicists use what is called an accelerator. The only problem with an accelerator is you can't really look inside. A typical accelerator looks like the image in the top right. In this accelerator, particles are fired at each other at certain electron voltage, or energy. The higher the energy, the smaller the particles that are produced. The Higgs was found at around 125 giga electron volts. With this new data, scientists have now fact-checked and added the Higgs particle into the standard model. As of now, the Higgs is the latest particle to be added into the standard model. And with every new discovery, there is always more doors opened. More research will be necessary in order to improve upon the standard model. A discovery such as the Higgs does not automatically produce new technology, but maybe one discovery will lead to another and te new technology will be produced. Further research will, will provide scientists with a better understanding about the world around us. With this knowledge, future findings, and creativity of future generations, the possibilities are limitless. If the Higgs particle was never found, scientists would have to rework everything we know. This would include the standard model. But since the Higgs has been found, scientists can now use the data to work on theories regarding the Higgs.